guys welcome back to our channel are you doing it is sunday that means sunday cooking day i'm going to be cooking just one of giuseppe's favorite nigerian dish and it's called rice and stew so red stew and rice and we're going to be having fried plantain for like a side dish so basically I'm going to be cooking. I decided to cook today because I feel like I haven't really done like the series that I started last year, early last year, the Cooking with the Angle series. I think we only uploaded about three videos, which were pretty good, and I don't know why we stopped. So we're going to like start it this year. So today is just chilling day. Giuseppe is helping me out with Zuri. We now know that Zuri is currently teething, so hence all the crying and fussing, so we understand now. We've also gotten her like this teeth cream to help her like cool down the gum when they're like hurting. So Giuseppe is gonna help me out, but if you hear Zuri crying, know that she's teething and she's just been super cranky right lately. So yeah, I won't be surprised if she cries in the middle of this vlog, but we'll see. I'm gonna see. She's sleeping. She's finally sleeping. Yeah. It took me an hour and a half. Oh my god. If you wake her up, I'll kill you. Okay, I'm going. I'm gonna go. See ya. So yes, you see, she's finally sleeping. Babe, I think I'm gonna close the kitchen door. Yeah. I'm really going to show you guys all the things you need to make the stew. So the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need some tomatoes. You can either use fresh tomatoes or you're going, you can also use tomatoes in, um, in a can. So I'm using tin tomatoes. I'm using also concentrated tomatoes as well. And it's just me and Giuseppe. So I'm using three tin tomatoes and one concentrated tomato. And you're also going to need two big onions. I'm using red onions. You're going to need I use garlic and my secret ingredients I don't have it right now which is kind of a bummer I normally use ginger but my ginger is finished so yes if you want that really spicy funk to your salt add ginger you're going to see you're going to taste the difference and some curry you're going to need thyme salt you're going to need Maggi cubes you're going to need um, um, pepper because I like my stew, my stew to be spicy and you're going to need uh, need any protein of your choice I'm using beef you can use chicken you can use turkey you decide it all depends on what you want to um, use so where how I start is I basically start by um, steaming or cooking part uh, cooking the meat itself so i'm going to show you now what i use in like seasoning my um, meat. so the first thing i use is i use a whole onion so i'm basically just gonna cut my onion I normally like playing music while I cook, but due to YouTube copyright policy, I can't really play play music. But on like normally when I'm not filming, I would just be jamming because it makes like cooking process go faster. But it's okay. I have you guys to talk to, so yeah, yeah. They're like dice now, so I'm just going to put it in the pan. And I already already I already um cut my beef into the piece the size that I want, so it's already the perfect size. So after that, I'm going to add my Maggi cubes. Come out, and I had like the whole Maggi here. Uh, 
and my curry add my thyme and I add my garlic I love me some garlic guys it's be like a nice taste and then I add my salt take a spatula I'm going to take a spatula and I'm just going to turn that all together so the taste so the seasoning really goes into the beef itself oh it smells so good this is the beef this is how it looks and I normally don't add any water when I'm steaming my beef because the beef itself already has enough water and if you add water it just dilutes the entire taste I really want the taste to be intense so I'm not going to be adding any water right now I'm just going to on the stove put it in and then let it cook with its own liquid if that makes sense Can you see that this is all the water from the meat itself so this is why I told you guys not to add extra water to it so right now the meat is almost cooked I don't really like cook my meat all the way through because I'm going to fry it anyway so I'm just gonna let it stay there for another two to three minutes and I'm going to take it out okay so why the chick why sorry why the beef is cooking I'm going to start blending my uh, tin tomatoes I'm just opening them right now and pouring them in my blender. So this is the tomatoes that I just uh, blended. So it's quite watery and I like my stew to be super dried when I'm, when I'm frying it. So I'm going to pop well the tomatoes so it so the water evaporates if that makes sense so basically I'm just going to boil the, the tomatoes and this step also makes the whole frying uh, process shorter so later when you're frying the stew you don't need to let the stew cook for another 20 minutes literally 10 minutes frying and your stew is done so and I'm just going to pour the tomato sauce in like that I'm just gonna let it boil and I will show you guys later when it's like when the water is evaporated and you see how like small this whole thing becomes in a few minutes. I already went ahead and preheat my oil. While the tomato is boiling, I'm going to start frying my beef. So I told you guys I was going to fry my beef anyways. So this is the beef already cooked. I'm just going to fry them for I think five minutes or to be like golden brown. We Nigerians, I don't know if it's Nigerians or just Africans in general, we like our meat very, very hard. Sorry. It has to be hard. We don't like tender meat. And that is something that Giuseppe needed to get used to, but now he likes it. I, we always have to like go for like harder meat or fry our meat sometimes when we're cooking stew. So right now we're just going to let that smooth away. Tomatoes, you can see it has evaporated all the way from there down and now it's like a thick puree like this so this is what you're going for so right now we can start frying the stew sorry you're going to need some oil I'm using like the sunflower oil just going to turn it in I don't like my stew to be super oily so I don't put that much oil but you can put as much oil you want and then you're just going to let that oil like um, get really hot. Oh yeah, it's like hot. And we're just going to put in our onion. I'm just going to pour in the tomatoes paste. I'm 
one thing though, stew is quite messy. Making stew is really, really messy. Ow! It's like sprays everywhere. It smells divine here, guys. It smells really, really good. And it's super thick. Exactly how I like my sauce. Why it's like I'm going to add curry. I just love curry. I love the scent. I'm gonna add thyme. And then you're going to add also um Maggie Cube. Siri's playing and I can hear her making noise. Giuseppe has gone to the gym so I have to be fast. So I'm gonna add some Maggie Cube. And then salt for taste. I'm just gonna stand everything together. Look who woke up. Oh baby. Hi baby. Hey. Hmm. You see my baby's teaching. She's so Oh baby, but she's so strong. Are you watching TV? So guys, the stew has been simmering for like seven minutes now. So I think it's time I'm gonna go off it. You hear the sound? You hear that sound? Mmm, smells divine in this. So this is it guys. See, it's simmering away. This is exactly the way I like my stew. Super dried not so much oil i don't like too much oil and trust me guys this tastes divine i'm very satisfied oh baby sorry i can't handle this cuteness you're so cute boo boo you're so cute yeah she's so she's so she's so strong even though she's in pain she just chills like this look at her but anyways, I'm going to um, go boil the rice. I think everybody knows how to boil the rice. I'm going to quickly show you guys how I fry the plantain. I'm not going to like talk talk you guys through. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. And then we're going to have dinner in a bit. some stew and rice look at her Yay. looking she's like i don't want to eat milk <laughs> she's not eating milk she's looking at food so much lately <laughs> guys this is it the stew and white rice and this is the side plantain and we're about to dig in babe you need to taste it and give your verdict Yeah. Very, very nice. In Dutch, you say very lekker. Very lekker. Very lekker. <laughs> In Italian, buonissimo. <laughs> Zuri is looking at that plate of rice like, mm. give me some. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to go sit and we're just going to taking.
I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of chilling cooking video. You see, we are we're doing teamwork. I'm done cooking, and Giuseppe is now cleaning. I can the do kitchen. the fun part. Cleaning. Yay! That's what we do. It's teamwork, you know. Teamwork, people. Why can't you do it all? Seriously. Okay, joking. I don't think so. But anyways, thank you guys so so much. Comment below and tell us if you like this kind of video. All right. And Giuseppe always makes a mess when he's cleaning. But anyways, comment below. Let us know if you like this kind of video, and we will upload them once in a while. Now we're just going to go chill and watch some TV or movie. Who knows? But anyways, thank you guys so, so much. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Also, make sure to turn on your notifications so you get notified every time we upload a video. Thank you, and we will see you guys in our next one. Babe, say bye. Bye, bye. Bye.